Hi, the topic for today's presentation is the famous Java Unit Testing Framework, JUnit. Unit testing is where you test your code at a unit or method level. You pass in the different data your method expects and the method doesn't expect and see how it behaves. And you also make sure that the method throws the appropriate exceptions you pass when you pass in the invalid data. You will be writing a unit test class, a JUnit test class, at least one JUnit test class for every Java class you define in your application. And also you will be writing one or multiple test methods within this test class for every public method in your Java class. Starting JUnit 4, it's, being, it's become much more simpler to write JUnit tests using the annotations that JUnit 4 provides us with. Let's look at some important annotations that we use on a regular basis when we come up with JUnit tests. The first one is the at test annotation. When you mark your methods using this annotation, JUnit knows that that is a test method. The at before annotation allows you to mark a method which you can use to initialize the data that is required for your test. For example, a simple example would be to create an instance of the object or class that's under test. So you use the before method to initialize everything your test actual test method needs and you use the at after annotation to do the opposite. So you clean up anything you do in the before method in the after method. While the before and after methods get executed once per every test method you write in your JUnit test class, the before class and after class methods are run by the JUnit framework only once for the entire JUnit test class. And the JUnit framework also provides us with assertion methods, various assertion methods using which you can assert for the values that your method returns. So you can assert that the values that you are expecting the method to return and the actual values that the method returns are same using the various assert methods within your test method. While we come up with our uh, JUnit tests, we will be strictly testing the methods under test or the methods within our J2W layers. For example, if you are working on your business layer, which in turn uses the database layer, you will not be making actual calls into the database layer, layer when you test your business tier. Uh, instead, we will be mocking the database layer using the mo uh, mocking frameworks like Mockito or Jmock. I will be presenting these in the future. But you need to understand if we are testing a particular layer within a J2W application, you will be mocking out everything, every other service layer below it, which this particular layer depends on. Otherwise, it will become an integration test, right? So we'll be testing it at a unit level and we'll keep it only for that layer. TDD stands for Test Driven Development where you will be writing your test class, the JUnit test class, even before you write the actual Java class for your application. I'll uh, show you how to do that when we do the hands-on in the next presentation. To summarize, now you know what JUnit is. It, it is a unit testing framework for your Java classes. You also know that JUnit 4 provides us with several different annotations which makes it very easy to come up with a JUnit test case. And also the JUnit frameworks provides us with various assertions which you can use to assert the actual values against the expected values from your methods. You use them within your test methods. You also know that you should not be calling into the actual services. If you if you are testing your web tier and if you are calling into if your web tier uses a business tier, you should not be calling into the actual uh, business layer while testing, but you will mock out the business tier using the Mockito, using the mocking frameworks like Mockito or JMock. Test driven development is where you will be writing your tests first even before you come up with your Java classes. And I'll be showing you how to do that in the next JUnit hands-on session. Until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.